What is going on everybody? It's your old pal, the original gamer Stevie Stroh, and we are back for another Radio Shack TRS-80 color computer, also known as a Coco cartridge showcase. And this time I'm not gonna show you a video game, but fear not, this is still something that is pretty cool. So what you're looking at right now is actually kind of like a utility cartridge. And I'm showing this to you for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, the name of this program is called Audio Spectrum Analyzer. And I'm reading a really cool book, which I will also talk about in a, a new Coco vlog I'm gonna do. But this book is called The Colorful History of Tandy's Underdog Computer, The Coco. I just got it on Amazon. There will be a link to this on my website as well. Um, but one of the things I discovered is that this program was, I think, one of the first programs released for the color computer by Steve Bjork. And Steve Bjork is somebody you've probably heard me mention many times that um, in my small community at the time, which was in Miami, Florida, he was known as like the superhero rock star of this computer because he made some of the absolute best video games that our system ever saw. But he also made this program. And what I cannot show you right now is what this program looked like in this actual demonstration. I'm running this program on an emulator and I don't have any way to get, um, as far as I know, any sound into this emulation. But what this program did was somehow you could plug into the computer, either probably through the cassette port um, and plug it into your stereo system. And then you saw these different color graphs and it was real time audio data on the um, sound coming through here. And it's broken into three sections. So it's like your low range, your mid range, and your high range. And if you've ever seen a graphical equalizer, if you've ever messed around with music, you kind of get an idea what these things look like. But this one would show you real time data and let you see what's going on. And nowadays, like when you listen to like Windows Media Player and you turn on like a musical screensaver thing or you do it on your Xbox or other consoles, you see kind of like animation to the music. This was similar to that, but you saw colored bars going up and down for the various frequency ranges that were being captured by the software. So it was pretty unique in that respect. And I'm showing it to you for a couple of reasons. Number one, from what I just learned, if I recall correctly, and I am old, I do forget things, but I think this was the first official title Steve Bjork made for the color computer. So I wanted to show you that. But number two, because I can't show you real time audio data on this, and honestly, unless you are an audio file, that's probably not interesting to you anyways, what I thought I would show you is something even better, better than I could ever show you on what this thing can do. I'm gonna show you how this appeared in a major motion picture of the time, an iconic cult classic at this point, a movie called Revenge of the Nerds, which I went and saw uh, because Basically, I was a kid, a teenager. I was a nerd who played with computers. So I went to go see a movie about nerds. You know, it was one of these underdog stories where the nerds win, which doesn't usually happen in real life. And so I saw the movie, it was a cool movie. And lo and behold, to my surprise, there was a scene where the nerds had like a freaking rock and roll concert and they busted out not only the color computer, but they were also rocking audio spectrum analyzer. And you can see it in the background and it was really cool. And so what I'm gonna show you right now on this next clip is better than anything I am capable of doing because this was in a real movie. So enjoy this clip and I'll be back in just a second. Everybody and everybody clap your hand. We land a lambda, lambda, and oh, make a move. And we come here on stage tonight to do a show for you. 
We got a rock and rhythm and a high tech sound that'll make you move your body down to the ground. We got Point Dexter on the violin, and Lewis and Gilbert will be joining in. We got Booga Presley on the mean guitar, and a rap by little old me, Lamar. We got Takashi beating on his gong. The boys and the moves are clapping along, and just when you thought you seen it all, along comes a lambda four foot tall. So, won't you come on out here on the floor so we can work our bodies like never before? Break. Now wasn't that cool? Every time you saw the computer in the background between the two guys in yellow who were holding these things, that was the computer. I'm gonna now go ahead and slow down and isolate just a few of those clips and put them in slow motion so you can see a little bit better what this program looked like. Let's go to the slow motion instant replay, shall we? <laughs> Alright, there you have it. I just showed you in vivid slow motion what this program looked like on a major motion picture. If you have not seen Revenge of the Nerds, find it. Go get it. It's an awesome, um, at this point I guess you can call it a period piece, right? Because it kind of captured the 80s. It definitely captured what it was like to be a nerd, to be an underdog, and a Cinderella story where uh, the, uh, the, the, the little guy wins. And ironically, the name or the subtitle of this book was the Coco is the underdog computer, which it really was. This computer was competing against some really well-known big name um, machines like Apple, Atari, and Commodore, and we got a lot of flack from a lot of fanboys from a lot of other systems. So I can totally relate to feeling like an underdog. Uh, I felt like an underdog in my own life before I got into computers. Once I got into computers, we all felt like underdogs because at that time, anybody who played games or played with computers was considered a little bit of a nerd and a social out cast anyways so seeing the underdog movie with my underdog computer was pretty awesome and now that I'm reading a book about my underdog computer I thought that was cool too and just also this is kind of a special um, random video that's not part of my normal video game series but the other thing I do want to mention is that because I've been collecting information on the color computer and I'm making a lot of new friends and, and, and connecting with some communities I have put together something on my website which is a link of all kinds of stuff to get to the color computer. Um, and matter of fact, some of the people who've been watching my videos say, this is really cool, how can I play these games? On my website, there's a whole page dedicated to the color computer with links to all types of resources. Look under emulators, and this will give you links to download the emulators to run the software, and there are links to download games. One of the links is for a project that's called Mocha that actually runs the entire computer in a web page, um, and you can even play the games right there in that web page. So if you want to try out the color computer and not have to download or install anything, check out the Mocha browser-based emulator. Pretty cool. All on my website, ogstevestrode.com. I hope you enjoyed this special presentation video of Audio Spectrum Analyzer for the Radio Shack TRS-80 Color Computer, also known as the Coco. This thing came out in 1981, and from what I believe, it is the first Steve Bjork title to be released for the Color Computer, and we can see here this was the early beginnings of the awesome marquees that would be so, um, so prominently featured on different types of programs from Datasoft. You would see these and later on you would see these animated to music as the opening title sequence would play. And um, this was just the beginning of all kinds of great things. So I hope you enjoyed this special presentation and um, don't forget to go to the website and check out all things Coco. I will see you all next time. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, mash that like button and give it a big fat thumbs up if you have not already subscribed hit that subscribe button if you got something you'd like to say throw out a comment tell me what you thought about this video and tell me what you'd like to see next and i'd really love it if you could share this video with your friends help me grow my channel and if there's anything else you need to know about me visit my website ogstevestro.com until the next time i will see you all later may the force be with you peace out and bye bye now